So should Colorado's voting system be audited? It's the focus of a hearing on election integrity at the state capitol, still going after eight hours of testimony. Some Republicans are questioning the integrity of the Dominion voting system. Political specialist Sean Boyd has been following this for us today, and Sean, senior legal advisor to the Trump campaign, did testify at this hearing today. Karen, she participated remotely because she has COVID, fielding questions from lawmakers for more than an hour, and things got heated at times. While Republicans insist the hearing is necessary to restore voters' confidence in the election system, some Democrats suggest it's a waste of time. Democratic Senator Rhonda Fields demanded Trump attorney Jenna Ellis provide proof that there was election fraud in Colorado. Ellis insisted it is the state's job to prove there wasn't any, noting Colorado uses vote tabulating machines that have come under scrutiny in other states. And if you genuinely do have nothing to hide, and if this committee is truly concerned about protecting the integrity of the vote in Colorado, then it is incumbent on this body but former Republican secretaries of state Scott Gessler and Wayne Williams defended the machine, saying they've passed hundreds of tests. There is no one in Moscow, nobody in Beijing, nobody in Antifa, nobody in the Trump campaign that has changed a single ballot in the state of Colorado because you physically can't do that unless you broke into the clerk's office. Williams and Gessler say the system isn't perfect. There is a glaring security hole in Colorado's signature verification requirements. Witness signatures, for example, aren't verified. So basically, because of sloppy voter rolls, we oftentimes send out ballots to ineligible voters or dual, dual ballots to voters. Um, and someone can simply put a mark and pretend or come up with some type of illegible signature as a witness, and that will be counted. In an age when people rarely sign their names, Gessler said a thumbprint would be more reliable than a signature. He and Williams also pointed to weaknesses in address verification, but both dismissed the idea of widespread fraud. Still, lawmakers say many voters have lost confidence in the system. It is our duty as elected representatives of the people to rest any doubt the public may have concerning our elections integrity. It's about elections future and it's about ensuring that Coloradans at home have peace of mind knowing that elections in Colorado are safe, secure and fair. Now, a handful of Trump supporters have been out here all day with signs saying the election was stolen. But aside from some limited cases of possible double voting, there was no evidence of fraud in Colorado's election presented here today. Still, Republicans will offer a motion to audit the Secretary of State's office to address some of the weaknesses identified. And I do expect that motion to fail on a party line vote. Live at the Capitol, Sean Boyd covering Colorado first.